What up everybody, it's your boy Nautical back at it with another video. So it looks like the Xbox One X may have just passed through certification through the FCC. Microsoft actually unveiled the Xbox One X at E3 press conference this year. And the biggest thing that was missing from that announcement was the fact that we had no pre-order date for the device going into that day. So it was mainly due just because the console was not through FCC certification yet. And it was due to a wireless module that the Xbox One will be using that needed to pass through. It. So according to a filing today for the device with the model number 1817 from Microsoft, it passed several tests which the LAN adapter up to 5 gigahertz connectivity. The company filed the request back on July 2nd and it was cleared by the FCC if the test reports are to be believed. Although not confirmed, the Xbox One X which went on sale last year had the model number 1618 for reference. Microsoft noted that it would announce pre-orders for the Xbox One later this year after discussing the game's lineup and how these titles will be improved on the new console. This will suggest that Microsoft will detail its pre-order plans during this year's Gamescom Expo and will be held next month in Cologne. The lack of pre-order date also sparks fear of the console being delayed, but Phil Spencer quickly dismissed those rumors. The Xbox One X is the latest updated for the Xbox One family and is expected to launch on November 7th for $4.99 worldwide. So this story has been developed for quite some time now. I will link an actual article in the description that's talking about this and I also will put a card up top where they actually talked about how the Xbox One X was not going to get delayed in the video that I talked on. So what do I think about this? I think this is something that is a necessary evil. Things have to make it through FCC. I do believe Microsoft probably should have got this out a little bit earlier than July 2nd which would have been just 10 days before the ET conference, and usually takes a little bit longer for stuff like that to go through. So I'm not gonna say the Microsoft was not prepared to have it in. I just think that they're trying to be a little bit more ambitious and they announced this system last year. Overall functionality of the system didn't come together probably until late the month before E3. So they had to really rush to get that through certification so people could reserve it. So I don't think this is a really big deal. I think we just definitely wanna have the system reserve. And honestly, they talked about how they wanted to be able to show the differences in the games. I thought there was a big misstep at E3 not being able to compare the Xbox One S games to the Xbox One X because that is a good way to show a difference by just highlighting the benefits that you will get by spending $500 on a newer console. Um, but hopefully they do something like that at Gamescom this year in Cologne because there's gonna be a lot of eager gamers out there that wanna see the differences. And this is another chance for Microsoft to basically just share the reasons why you should go out and get the Xbox One X. I firmly believe that this console is going to be truly worth it just for the power and being able to play the multiplex in a higher, better fidelity and better frame rates if that is the case. But until we actually see the system in practice and get a chance to try it for ourselves, we just got to basically wait and see. So guys, what do you think? Now that the Xbox One X may have passed through certification, do you think we'll be able to reserve it at Gamescom this year? Let's talk about it in the description. Also, what is the games that you're looking forward to to pick up with your Xbox One X when you pick it up? Let's talk about that in the description. Also guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Turn on email notifications. It'll let you know exactly when my next video goes live. It's your boy Nautical. I appreciate you watching the video again, and I will see you guys in the next video. And have a good week. Peace.